to strive for excellence in a free and supportive learning environment, enabling each other to become sensitive, reflective, intelligent, confident and responsible. A lot of schools have a vision statement. Very few schools follow them. This particular school follows this each and every characteristics mentioned in this vision statement every single day. So Hosur is grow growing in a faster rate. So before it was full of trees, a small number of buildings, but now it has increased. And w when the buildings have increased, there's also deforestation happening at, at Hosur. So that's how a lot of trees have been lost. So in our school also, when there was the NH7, the National Highway uh, 7 expansion, we lost 114 trees in our school. So we were deeply saddened by that. So we wanted to replace those trees. And that's how this uh, sap uh, sap Sapling initiative started in our school. The whole school with all the students, they planted one lakh saplings, tree saplings around the school. And every student knows exactly why they are planting a sapling. It's not that the teacher asked them to plant a sapling. When we finally see that tree growing, it's a sense of achievement for us. We feel very proud of what we are doing at. They teach the students to be sensitive, reflective, intelligent. It's not about mugging up and it's not about academics only. It's about a lot more of being socially responsible. In our school, we involve in a lot of community development activities. We believe that those are very important because it's not only us who are going to improve or let, let know everything or uh, experience everything. And we work with an environmental organization or an NGO, NGO called Dream Benefit. Uh, which is based in Bangalore. They had they had come to our school and we had gone to the uh, nearby uh, Mornapal, the, the Mornapalli government school. We went there and uh, taught them about the sanitary, pra uh, sanitary practices. We did a mobile grey water harvesting system where, the, they were where we made a wash basins connected with a tank where when we wash our hands in that, the water gets collected in that tank and that can be used to, for uh, watering the plants. The experience uh, with me and child with TVS is entirely different to what I have had in other schools because my child has already studied in three different schools and uh, when he came here initially he didn't really settle down very well but I think uh, TVS teachers have taken a step ahead and uh, made him uh, so beautifully you know um, accommodative in this school and uh, they helped him how to uh, do really very well in his academics, sports and co-curricular activities. I think in that way, TVS is uh, really, I would say, at par uh, with the, in all the under international schools which are being talked about. I have my friends in the uh, office, and they also have kids, and they have they are studying different schools. And uh, the way their children give importance to different activities, mainly I see what they are doing is in studies. But here I don't see that at all. That doesn't come into focus at all. Even though it's a part of it, I'm seeing so many other things that is coming into the picture. Like if you say like uh, uh, the TVS uh, uh, principle of what to say, no saying no to plastics. And also if I, if I use uh, paper extensively, my daughter will shout at me, you are cutting trees, you are wasting trees. On an average, I use 15 to 20 sheets per day. So if I'm using this, I might use it for rough work, for practice, and later on, I might not need it. So what we thought, all this is going to go as waste. We thought we will put it back into cycle to carry this paper forward and use it for something else. That is when this idea of uh, recycling paper came up. The students, uh, they take the responsibility of making them into folders, into inv invitations, and into um, gifts for others, into wrappers, and we put it into so many uses, like even like bookmarks. At the end, it gives us a proud feeling. When we look at the report card and it says uh, made by TVSA students, it is like something that we have made has come back to us. So that's something great about it. So what is more important for me is the child, uh, instead of uh, studying what is in the book, that is not the education at all. What TVSA is giving is that is the education because it teaches us what is required for life. It's an it's a education for life, not for getting a job. So that is what I want because when you go into a job, what you are going to face is a different scenario. It's not a protected environment. There will be seeing so many people with different perspectives, attitudes. There you have to be emotionally stable. Their intellectual things will not help at all. Even though you're strong intellectually, if, if somebody has to say, say something and you're upset, you're gone. So TVS gives a wholesome, uh, it's, a, it's a nutrition meal, like I would say that. So it uh, covers uh, the studies, which is important. But at the same time, they are making them aware of what is important to life.
That is why I am very happy that my daughter is studying here.